It's a rivalry that dates back over 500 years. Lancashire versus Yorkshire, the Red Rose against the White. The latest instalment, the semi-final of the Persimmon Village Cup. In the white corner, Sesse defending champions from North Yorkshire, and in the red, Woodhouses from Failsworth near Manchester, the club where a certain Michael Atherton started his career. At stake, bragging rights and a place in the final at Lords. Come on, guys. Lancashire's where it's at. Hang on a minute. Yorkshire's the home of cricket in this country. May I remind you that Mike Allison came from Lancashire? In fact, he came from this club. Hang on a second. What about all our England captains? Close. Illingworth. Boycott. Vaughan. All right. But we all know we really won the Ashes in 2005. Freddie. And we've got the home advantage come Sunday. Are you finished yet? Defending champions. It's a massive game. Uh, it's a game that we're really looking forward to. Obviously, we're reigning champions and we're, we're desperate to get back to the home of cricket again. Just playing at Lords is a really, really special occasion. It's such a buzz. Um, you know, when I led my side out the long room, you can't beat that. It's a childhood dream and it's what, what you aspire to do as a club cricketer. It was a marvellous occasion, absolutely. Nobody will ever forget it. We pulled into the village and it was just amazing. Everybody was out in the street just celebrating and, and the bar was open and it was just phenomenal. Phenomenal reaction. It's the second time we've been in the semi-final and uh, hopefully this time we can win it and get through to Lords. Three years ago, 2008, I was lucky enough to play in that particular game. Uh, I remember all the hype and uh, the excitement that it generated through the village. I've played for this club for probably 20 years now and uh, I've been captain, this is my second year as captain. Very young side, so it'd be, uh, it'd be fantastic to, uh, to lead the side out at Lords. They may only be a stone's throw from Manchester, but Woodhouses are certainly proud of the club's rural roots. It's just over 100 years old and always been at this ground. Of course, it's been developed and, and extended. This whole, whole area used to be covered with pigs, actually. Uh, all these buildings were covered with pigs, so the noise that the pigs used to generate years gone by was amazing. <laughs> it was a home advantage, to say the least. We've had lots of uh, famous and important people play for the club. Uh, Farouk Engineer played for us when he finished with Lancashire. Played here for two years. Uh, didn't want to keep wicket, wanted to bowl his leg spin, but didn't go very far with that one. Uh, Chris Martin, who's playing for New Zealand at the moment, played with us. And of course, Michael Atherton, um, who um, is my son and uh, played his early cricket here. The opposition side you know, think it's amazing that a guy who's scored you know, many thousand test runs and, and, and captain England has uh, started uh, a small club on the outskirts of Manchester. And Sesse, on the edge of the Yorkshire Moors, couldn't be a better fit for a competition celebrating everything that's great about village cricket. The club's been going approximately just over 100 years. My father was a treasurer of the club for 30 years and, and I've been associated with the club since 1945. My son's now helps with the ground and runs the second team and uh, my grandson's just started playing and getting runs for the third team. We set off with a mission to try and make it a family oriented club. We realised that we needed to keep the flow of players coming through and so we've strived to do it and it's fantastic that we've got so many families involved now. We have a thriving junior section and we tend to have a real strong family feel and a clear progression through from junior to senior. Three Saturday teams, four junior teams, so we've got a real kind of strong emphasis there and a growing female section as well. Make no mistake, this is a huge game for both sides. Woodhouses have home advantage, but Sesse have been there before and are on a 14-match winning streak. Only one can go to Lords. It's Woodhouses against Sesse and, you know, the winner goes to Lords. And, yeah, it, it is a mini Roses battle, I guess. My son plays for Yorkshire over 50s and he says whenever they play Lancashire, there's always that bit of extra needle. <laughs> Opportunity to play at Lords would be you know, fantastic for a small sort of village club uh, like Woodhouses. I know they're a strong team, I know they have uh, they know how to win, and they've been to Lords a number of times, but we've breezed through our last two games. I would suggest that they're probably slight favourites, you know, they've got some, despite the fact we, we won the competition, they've got players who played a real strong standard of cricket, so we're expecting a really tough game on Sunday. Obviously Sunday's going to be a tough game, but yeah, we're fit, we're ready, bring it on. The big day soon arrived, and for Sesse it meant an early start as they boarded the coaches and left Yorkshire behind. But on the other side of the Pennines, a traditional Lancashire welcome awaited, and their opponents were forewarned and forearmed. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to brighten up after uh, after lunch. We'll be right. 
Come with the toss, stick him in, roll them out, knock them off. And by the time the Yorkshiremen arrived, the weather had started to clear and both teams were eager to get down to business. There's a reason why we're 14 games on beating and if we can play exactly how we've been doing and keeping a, you know, a cool head under pressure, then I'm confident we can do it. There's a reason why we're reigning champions. We were desperate to go there again. And so Sesse lined up to face Woodhouses for a place in the final. With the weather still threatening, the all-important toss was won by the visitors, but the Lancashire captain was confident in his home advantage. They're going to find it difficult to chase on here when we, when we bowl well second half. So um, let's bat well, get ourselves off to a fly with me and the usual order from yesterday. And um, let's go out there and win it and let's enjoy it. A shaky start from the Yorkshire side gave the batsman an early in. And despite the fielder's best efforts, there was plenty to entertain the bumper crowd who had braved the conditions to show their support. 16-year-old Nick Doyle was especially destructive and Woodhouses were 50 for naught when a heavy shower forced them off the field. But when they returned, Sesse finally drew blood, Matthew Till removing the danger man. They thought they had a second soon afterwards, as the informed Josh Tolley holed out, but it was a no ball. And after that, he rode his luck and piled on the runs. Sesse pulled back some momentum, removing key players at regular intervals in the middle overs. But Tolly kept the scoreboard ticking over, posting a crucial 79. And 48-year-old Doug Sloan chipped in with some big shots to help his team to a total of 214 for seven from their 40 overs. Would have liked probably a few more, maybe 220, 230, but we got with our bowling sack, I reckon we can defend that quite comfortably. As much as this was a huge day for Woodhouses on the field, with nearly 300 spectators in the ground, it was a major boost for the club as a whole. It's just great for the community, uh, community spirit. Obviously, people are coming in now, weather's improving, uh, revenue again for the club, but ju just the area, the village, it's, it's a big thing, big thing for the area. And as his openers prepared to take to the field, the Sesse captain was relying on precedent. At Lords last year we knocked off score 230 with three overs spare, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. If we get stuck in, get a good base, we'll see where it takes us. And so the second innings got underway with a positive start for the visitors. Much to the delight of their travelling supporters. But it wasn't long before Woodhouses got the breakthrough, and after that there was no stopping them. Their first inning star, Josh Tolley, was in the action again with some sharp catches, and the bowlers were too good for Sesse's batsman, who faltered to 81 for five. Chris Till provided a glimmer of hope with some much needed boundaries. But when another stunning catch took the Yorkshireman to 143 for nine, they knew it was only a matter of time. Woodhouses bowled their opponents out for 163 to riotous applause, storming through to the final at Lords for the very first time in their history. Unbelievable, you know, a village with about with less than a you know a thousand people in it. I think um, sort of eight or seven or eight at least of the guys who are in the team are from from the village, from the area. So uh, absolutely, you know, absolutely fantastic. They haven't really sunk in really. We didn't quite play to our full potential today. We've gone 15 games from beating this competition. You're going to have to lose, you know, it's cup cricket. You're going to lose somewhere along the line, you know. You've got to take the rough with a smooth. And in some ways, you, you learn more from your losses and hopefully we'll come back strong in 2012. Very excited. Amazing. Very excited. 4th of September. Penciled, well, penned in now. Wasn't even penciled in. As far as I'm concerned, it's probably been my last chance. <laughs> He's got many years ahead of him, but uh, I'll take that. I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. Very giddy.
I, I think uh, as we all are. So. Oh! so, a date for the diary, September the 4th at the home of cricket. Come along if you want to see how Woodhouses get on in the final, and you never know, we might just see you there.